Some scientists consider a world in which we may have rubbed shoulders with a dinosaur equivalent as highly plausible. Evolutionary paleobiologist Simon Conway Morris is among a select group of people who argue that evolution is far from random, believing that life, given time, will evolve via natural selection toward a few optimum designs. And they don't come much better than the human form. The human is extraordinarily well designed. The whole arrangement is actually designed for a particular mode of life, which, as you can see, looking around us, is incredibly successful. Is a dinosauroid like a humanoid really a possibility? I don't really see why not. I mean, there are lots of different, if you like, designs out there in the natural world, but the humanoid is a really good design. If it's such a good solution for us, is it so difficult to imagine it could be a good solution for a dinosaur, therefore a dinosauroid? I don't see why not. Evolutionary convergence is the idea that from completely different starting positions, life, if you like, navigates to a very, very similar solution. But again and again in evolution, what we see is that animals, even plants, even bacteria, which don't look anything like each other to begin with, end up slowly coming together to be sometimes almost indistinguishable. Life has a pattern, and it also suggests that maybe evolution has predictability. Conway Morris has no problem envisioning an alternate 21st century with dinosaurs, which includes one species, like Homo sapiens, that would have prevailed and evolved above all others of its kind. Let's imagine, perhaps, that the dinosaurs really did become some sort of dinosauroid. The great rock doesn't fall out of the sky. It's a bright light in the sky. The dinosaur says, what's that? No idea. The mass extinction is postponed. In fact, it's cancelled. So what's happening then? We've got the apes rapidly evolving, and then they're beginning to look over their shoulders because, just conceivably, there are also these dinosauroids doing rather similar things. And then, of course, it's fascinating to think, what would have happened? Would it have been an evolutionary race? Maybe there would have been a winner? Or maybe, ultimately, unbelievably, madly, it could have been perhaps even a cooperation. The utopian notion of dinosaurs and humans sharing the planet may appeal even be plausible to some. But most paleontologists see the dinosauroid as an insult to dinosaurs. There's probably some good ideas there. The brain was getting bigger, and they probably would have continued to outcompete other animals. But uh, for them to become fully erect like humans, I think is a little bit fanciful. Dinosaurs would have continued to develop. They would have continued to specialize. They would have adapted but they would have adapted and specialized as dinosaurs. They wouldn't have become primates or primate-like. The idea that dinosauroid could exist as a scientific question, it's bogus. It's about as bogus as it gets. Dinosaurs probably would have continued along their dinosaurian trajectory, getting bigger brains and bigger eyes, but I doubt seriously that any dinosaur would ever end up looking like a person, and it is fairly arrogant to think that the end point of all evolutionary trajectories should sort of emulate human beings. <laughs>